Looks like it's going to be the Kale, in fact. I think this is going to be a set being flexed into the support position. Uh, the Kale was what uh, UB was said they were going to draft into this, because again, they'll play for the late game. It isn't like they're going to have a Shen this time around who is going to have no agency in lane. This Kane is, again, just like the Cho'Gath, a late game win condition that uh, H-Block are going to have to do something about. Uh, as we can see from the bans, they have taken away quite a lot of the mid lane pool and also the jungle. There is quite a lot of emphasis on jungle thus far. That is uh, Idris' echo being taken away as well as the Diana. But uh, looking at this, it is going to be the Kha'Zix coming out again. And the Senna, no surprises there. Having spoken to Utility Monster, he says he doesn't think that um, uh, H-Block are able to deal with Jeff God's Senna. They have drafted a very aggressive Lucian uh, Rel lane to try to deal with it. But uh, we'll have to see what happens. It is a very different draft, a big adaptation from HBK, and that's what we want to see. Yeah, and, you know, I, I know Anti is probably, like, so excited for this draft. You get to, you get to see Set, you get to see Aurelia, you get to see his favorite oh, yeah. champions. Oh, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm sure he's just he's just bouncing up and down right now with joy. Uh, but I, I agree, like, these are definitely very interesting drafts we've seen. I, I'm i personally not too sure about the Senna. Um, I think that Senna is, uh, you know, I, I, I've talked with a couple people, and I, I've tried to make it work so far, but Senna's felt a little weak right now, ever since her mm -hmm. nerfs and the yeah. nerfs to, to, to Sunderer. Um, but I wonder what Senna will see then. Not even just beyond farming and fasting. The new thing I'm seeing Senna's build is Triforce as their yep. mythic. So I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm wondering I wonder if we'll see that or if we'll see like a traditional like Kraken Slayer or Divine Sunderer coming out here. I think with the tankiness from the Rel, uh, the Poppy, the Irelia, of course, will build herself some Bruiser um, armor items. I think Triforce will have a lot of value if the center is given time and positioning to make it work. It does provide um, a lot of damage on that Q. It does provide some, um, well, just some, j just allowing her to get a bit of a, a bit of attack speed off, some movement speed. That's very nice for her to work around the fights. But nevertheless. Um, I think I would prefer to go something a little bit more anti-tank against this comp. Uh, it's interesting also just to see that we haven't seen a Lucian Nami come out. We do know this is one of the most filthy bot lanes uh, in the um, in the meta at the moment. The Rel, I, it's going to allow Prolubal to do the same sort of things uh, he was trying to do on Rakan and what we've seen from him so far. It does allow a lot of um, of uh, I guess. Uh, roaming potential, gank potential. Um, I just, I am still a little bit questioning it. Obviously, it does provide some tankiness. It does provide fantastic engage for this team. Um, but the Rakan, actually, I think he did a really so stellar job on the Rakan, but with, with some champions that actually, you know, have a bit more presence in lane, don't rely so much on snowballing. I think it would have been a fine job. Obviously, it's not the best um, pairing with Illusion, but it's not the worst either. But I think I would have liked to have seen Enchanter come out from him. It's just, it, it depends, of course, what he's comfortable on. Yeah, I think Enchanter would have been good. Um, I'm, I'm always a big fan of seeing Janna, personally, as, as that's a champion I've played since Season 1, but... You know, I, I think with Lucian, maybe not as great, but I, I understand, yeah, like you said, he's trying to pull what he did with the Rakan, especially with how low mobility it's going to be with the Kale. I'm assuming that is Kale mid into Aurelia, um, just because they've got the Urgot here, unless that, that's going to be Urgot mid or... I mean, it's, it's yeah. HBK and UB. Yeah. These teams flex champions like no other, so mm. they could yeah. go anywhere in that group. Yeah. yeah. So... Let's see. Hmm. So we are getting the um the draft confirmed to us at the moment. So this yeah. is uh going to yeah. give us some idea of just to just to note by the way there is a little bit of a delay on the game itself as the lobby needs to be remade. So we are going to have a little bit more time to discuss these drafts in detail. Yeah. Um. So we have it confirmed. Heimer top, Poppy jungle, Relia mid, Lucian Rel bot lane, uh, for the side of HBK. So. I'm good. Okay, so it so is it... going to be an Urgot mid. Okay. Um, which is definitely something that I've never seen Civilot play this champion before. Um, I think this may have been something that they were kind of uh, pull it, saving up their sleeve, considering it is, I mean, there is obviously a bit of flexibility on both sides. We do have uh, the Poppy here, which will provide, you know, some uh, some. It'll be, it'll be a nice way to counter the engages from the Kazakhs in particular. And of course, it does it does stop the Urgot from going in as well. But um, yeah, these are not lane matchups that we would particularly expect. I, I, I am 
uh, not surprised to see Freelancer on this KL. I think this was something that UB were ready to put against the Heimerdinger if it was allowed through the draft. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this mid lane matchup is definitely not something we were expecting to see, Raps. Yeah, I I actually think the Urgot pick doesn't fit UB. Um, you know, Civilock is a player. He plays a lot like like we've seen pros play, like Doin B and Niski. He plays for his team as opposed to himself. And I just don't like I don't see that as much with Urgot. You know, Urgot doesn't really roam very fast. He can't just teleport to bot. Like I mean, he can teleport, but he can't just really quickly get to bot lane. Whereas mm. Spears, you know, we, he plays a lot for lane, trying to get assassins, trying to get massive leads. He can like hyperscale with and like pick people off. That that's 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 Aurelia to a T. And yes, I think you know Urgot might be able to keep him in check. I trust him a lot to keep Spears in check. But if Spears gets out of that lane. That Kale's not getting away. That Senna's not getting away. Set, probably not either. Most he can do is just ult to try. Like, there's a lot of potential for this Aurelia to pop off. And unlike a Zed, if Aurelia pops off, Aurelia will scale up and Aurelia will become an absolute nightmare to deal with. So I think HBK is going to have to, you know, I mean, not HBK, Yumi is going to have to really try hard, Civilock and Utility Monster, especially to keep Spears in lane. And, you know, with the Poppy there too, it's going to make it even harder. Like you said, it stops Kha'Zix jump with the W, so it's going to limit the Kha'Zix immensely in fights. And you know, I, 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 like, I like HBK's draft. I think this is a well ad adaptation for their draft. It fits their style, but it makes the necessary changes they need to take on the Yumi in this case. Yeah, and it's interesting. I don't think we've seen Idris on the Poppy thus far. Uh, it is a very, very strong um, counter pick against certain matchups, of course. Um, we do have, particularly against this Kha'Zix, she's going to be able to deny a lot of the um, the engage attempts he might be wanting to pull off. Um, but Idris, you know, I think, we're, we're, as we saw in the previous game, he's definitely been trying to play for his lanes and get them, get them ahead. Uh, whilst Utility has been happy to focus on farming, he does have win conditions again. We've got the Kale. Um, we've got the Senna who's able to scale up very effectively as well. So I think UB will be trying to play a similar style where, they, as you said, they will be trying to mitigate the amount of snowball potential on the side of H block. But yes, it is going to be a lot hard to deal with. The Heimerdinger will be a problem in lane they'll have to address. The Kale will do all right against it, but I think she will still struggle to get the push, especially, uh, especially early on. I think that's going to allow Idris a lot of priority in the top side to to uh, be able to contest Utility Monster, and he, he, Utility is going to have a hard time killing him as well. So um, it does mean that this uh, this jungle mid lane on the side of uh, HBK is quite well enabled. I won't be surprised, of course, to see we saw Pro Lupal roaming exceptionally early um, in the previous game, and I expect that to see happen here. And this Urgot, as you said, he's not particularly um, good at roaming. He's not very mobile in general, and whilst he is, you know, relatively tanky, he's not the easiest champion to blow up. There will be, I think, a lot of pressure on him. And if that does allow, uh, if that breaks the mid-tier open early, uh, the mid-tier one, excuse me, early, then it will allow, I mean, I really is a, fa a fabulous side laner. And we saw Spears trying to side lane on the Zed, but the Ignite Zed uh, not having quite the same impact as the Irelia, which uh, will be, um, you know, rep repping the, hold on. This is, uh, this is not quite what we were expecting, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, Oh wait, wait. So this is this is Aurelia bot lane. Okay. Oh wow. This okay. is hold on, hold on. This is beautiful. I love this. Sorry, I think we must have um we must have misheard the call on draft. Either that, or I think we just didn't hear it at all. We just weren't expecting. You know, sometimes you can um you can just miss here in general because it's something that you know you expect to hear something. You expect to hear Lucian Rel bot lane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily Irelia Morel bot lane, <laughs> but um. I, uh, and, yeah. and, and just a um a, a, a quick apology to uh to Chris our, our our um our streamer here because he did tell us and we just ignored him because we I, I don't think anyone is expecting this to be coming out but I'm all here for it I'm very excited to see Tokyo Tree on this I really yeah I yeah, maybe I'm just going deaf but I, I I missed it too and I I think it's exciting it's not even the same place now. <laughs> oh, oh no this is so smart as well because the kale is going to have such a rough time against the lucian early on in lane spears is going to be given a lane where he is going to be able to attempt to snowball and especially when he has some um you know advantage from idris who as you can see is already starting uh on his blue side he might actually be looking to go up early but look already some really favorable trades for spears this is going to be a really interesting adaptation for h block i'm not i'm interested to see how ub deal with this 
Yeah, and this is what a lot of teams you know. I've, I've, I've talked to a lot of teams. This has been a big frustration for dealing with HBK is you never know, even going into game, even when you know what their champions are, you never know where they're going to go. They can they have so many different setups, so many different um, lane matchups that they can do, so many different styles they can play. It makes it really hard to prepare for this team. Like you're seeing here, they did not only a champion flip, but they did a, a player flip. Like in terms yeah. of positioning, it's it's something that's difficult to prepare for. And I think, you know, I don't think Yubi was expecting them to do this much flipping around. So I I, I think this will be hard. I think the advantage for them right now is in the bot lane. Jeff God mm -hmm. does have good yeah. poke on Tokyo Tree. But the moment that like they get to Mythic, it's going to suck for Jeff God. He's just going to be pounced on constantly. Or when Idris comes down, they're just going to knock him into a wall. And it's is a... And actually, we're seeing it now. We're seeing the poppy come in. Rel going in, going in onto Brian. Tokyo Tree trying to dash onto him. Jeff got trying to get a hit right there, getting the root in. But here comes the poppy. Gets the flash out, the exhaust coming through. They're trying to get to Jeff Gott. It's got to be oh, first wow. blood going over to Tokyo Tree. Brian trying to grab something here. He's got the punch. He's looking for something. He's trying to get the shield, but Idris picks him up. It's two kills to start it off. And HBK makes the chaos work. They're thriving, and they are th surviving, I guess is the Rats, better way to do it. Raps, I am so impressed with HPK right now because if, if I was drafting against them right now, they'd have had me like over a barrel, honestly. This is, uh, UB were not ready for this. You can see immediately they were not ready for this. You could see, obviously, as you mentioned, Jeff God getting some very nice early poke down, but Idris just comes right in. The Irelia now has a kill on the board. She's got a vamp scepter. And between that rel, that, I, that Irelia, the engage they have, now all three lanes, this is, Idris could not be happier because all three lanes are going to be able to get a push for him. Spears, of course, is having a fantastic time up in the top side. Um, this Urgot, poor Sibylok, uh, oh. yet another player on UB is just being forced into an extremely, un, you know, very uh, uninteractive, unenjoyable lane against uh, against Jidas Heimerdinger. And right now, HBK, they fully have the run of the map. As you can see, Pro Lupal, he's already, he's fully away from Tokyo Tree right now. He doesn't need to be anywhere near him. And he's going to be making Freelancer's life even more miserable. Yeah, and Freelancer, you know, we saw a utility monster during that, that tried to look for a gank on Spears, but Idris and Lupal reading him like a book. They're push, they pushed up, they're pushed him out. Freelance has to back up, but now Utility Monster and Freelance are here. Lupal backs, Spears backs. I don't know, he's not finishing his back. He's just going to poke out. They're just going to keep them here. Keep them thinking they can maybe get something and allow Idris. He's sticking around too, just in case things get a little fishy here. And Freelancer's just taking so much damage. If he gets much lower, I think Idris... Well, he doesn't have Flash right now, so he's not going to be able to get away. But yeah, he's going to have to back up. Utility Monster's going to have to absorb this farm. And HBK, they are having the perfect start to this game for them. They are just dominating across the map. And like you, uh, something I noticed like you know, in that bot lane, all four summoners were burned for the side of Yubi. So if Idris feels like it, and you can see he's already hovering back down here, they comes back down and he can easily get a return kill onto this UB bot lane. And if you, you know, you get Tokyo tree up to two Oh, even three Oh, it, it could basically be over. They could just dive two V two constantly and just pick up kill after kill. And it's Brian, you know, he's not able to take the damage he needs. If he gets the damage he needs to get the, that shield damage off, he's just going to be picked. He's going to get too low and Tokyo tree is going to be able to do dance around it with the Q. This is, this is just, just such beautiful, Un, like drafting from and like macro right now coming out of HBK. This is the stuff we want to see. This is what we want to see from mm -hmm. what I argue oh are the goodness. top teams. Oh, Freelancer is taking so much right there. And Lupo going in gets the stun, getting another stun into there. Tokyo Tree's going in onto oh, Jeff. He's trying to grab him. The ignite, ignite? through. I don't yeah. think it's going to finish him. Idris looking for oh, the maybe kill. not. This gets the dash. He backs off Jeff. God, the punch coming through. They're going to get him down too, but Brian's going to fall. That's another two kills going over to HBK. UB picks one, but. <laughs> This is already looking just so dire for UB. Oh, but here comes Utility Monster looking to maybe get something here, but Lupul going yeah, in. They dive him nothing. as well, man. Yep, the Utility trying to run away. Lupul taking, he's going to probably go down here. He is oh. going to fall. Tokyo Tree's getting too aggressive. He's got a bad. Oh he's my go goodness! Utility Monster with a double kill in the bot lane under the turret to keep UB back in this game. And, I mean, UB need this right now. That was... I did say they could try diving him, but well played from Utility Monster there. 
Uh, he does expend his flash in order to make sure he can stay out of range once that engage comes through from the rail. And that is, uh, UB now they're back in the game because they, it was looking, as you said, Raps, very, very tough for them. Uh, Spears obviously is dominating up here on the top side. This is not a lane that Akael complained to until she scaled up a bit. Uh, and he, they, they've been left on an island. That's perfect for him. But across the board, the only point of pressure that UB oh, had Idris. was... Oh, no. oh, the flash onto free, from Freelancer. He's trying to chase down Idris. Idris got to run. He doesn't have the range. So that E comes back up. He's looking for it. He gets the shield. He's going to pick it up. He's not actually going to. He's going to hit the Q. And oh. Idris flashes for it. Takes out Freelancer in a 1v1. But he here comes Civilock. He's looking for something right here. Spears just going to keep poking at this turret. They're going to spot him out here on the ward. Spears backing up. Civilock, he's going to try to engage on him. The flash forward. Oh, but Idris going to stun him into the wall. Spears picks up a kill onto Civilock. They bait the Urgot. And now Tokyo Tree running in the bot lane. Jeff God picks up one onto Pro Loopal. Tokyo Tree healing so much damage. We thought HBK had maybe stepped too far, but they are making this work. I think... They're gonna, they've learned their lesson. They're not going to try to dive under a turret again. But, you know, they let the foot off the let's gas the for replay. just a moment. Oh, coming right let's back. And let's see what happened here. Yeah, so let's see the replay. So we get yet another fantastic engage from Pro Lupal there. A huge amount of damage onto Jeff God Gamer. This is actually going to be the previous replay where... Um, you know, they do manage to pull back there. Tokyo Tree goes insanely low from the Haymaker, but there's the Conqueror proc right there. Pro Lupal does manage to pick up Jeff God. And now, of course, we have a Vamp Scepter Irelia. She's going to be absolutely fine. And uh, that is just Jeff God taking more and more punishment down here in the spot lane. We did say this Skenna Senna, she does have the opportunity to scale up, but um, H Block have drafted into it. They've gone for the hardest amount of engage they could and at the moment UB just can't match it and the problem is further is that utility monster is having to play damage control right now he's the only member on his team who's at all you know has any resources dedicated to him after that um that play in the bot side but he's just having to deal with his laners at the moment because oh there we oh. go we're gonna see Brian we didn't even yeah. catch this but they dive on Brian as well yeah, and the punch coming through the oh, Falcon yeah. punch doing well. Brian, you were saying we were saying Utility Monster had all the only resources. Brian's getting a couple under his boot, but you know he is playing support set, so he's not going to have that same agency you get from a top lane. Not going to have the same pressure. But Jita here in the mid lane is still also doing so much work. They've switched the Kale down. They've finally gone. You know what? We can't deal with these matchups. These are just railing into us right now. And switched him out, but you know Jita. Be doing even more work though, against yeah. the high against this uh, Kale because he can continue to poke from so far away. They're getting turret plays. I want to point out too, it's already almost a th it's about a two k goal lead exactly coming out of HP carry. Now it was three until that play from Brian, but they have a drag. He's got a dragon, but it's going to be Mountain or Cloud this time. They don't have you know that same sort of like little extra for the end like thing in the back pocket getting an ocean drake get uh, ocean soul getting an infernal soul these aren't literally the souls that you're gonna want if you are on the side of uv i mean hbk not as much either but if you can get multiple ultimates cooldowns down you get the movement speed those are still things that work so well for them uh Ooh. it's shortened rel ult shortened Lucian ult, Shorten, other ults, and speaking of ults, I think Civilock's going to probably take one here. Spears, no, he's not going to pull it off right here. Lupul going in, he's going to look for something. He's going to get the ult onto Utility Monster, looking for the stun. Utility Monster has to dash out. He does get Lupul's Ignite. Now Jeff God is here, but Idris is too. They're looking for something. Lupul having to run away. He can't transform yet, so he's just going to get poked out a little bit as he walks away, but not taking much damage. And HBK continuing this aggression. And Spears too in the top, and look at Civilock getting so low. The ult coming in trying to run away almost takes him out thank god for the wall right there in the minions otherwise that would have probably been the end of Civilock. spears coming up maybe trying to look for a kill here but there are wards they do spot him out and spears gonna have to run utility monster once he dashes jumps in i think it's over but i think i saw the dash coming out there from spears he's still running he is gonna get out the harvest stack going over to the cosmic but not what he was looking for and this is, this is, this is what this is. I mean, HB keeping up the tempo. Oh, wait, in the mid lane right there. The Heimer looking for something, but he doesn't have, want to use the ultimate just yet. He is looking for Jita though. I think he's trying to bait out the ult. Freelancer taking a lot of damage. 
if he hits a stun, it's it's over right there. Now, Lupo looking for something in the bot lane, looking for Jeff God going forward, going yeah, in, gonna pick injuries. him off there, stunning him again. They're going in. Brian gets the stop right there. Jeff God getting so low, getting the oh, ult wow. bow down, getting the knockup. Idris gonna fall deep, right man. there. A shut down for the Senna. A good player there. They get you have to use two ultimates, but they do manage to survive this time. And I think it's a little bit too far forward. I think once once you've you know the Senna's gotten away like that, you just need to let her go. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, they're definitely, you know, H Block are trying to um, snowball this as well as they possibly can. But nevertheless, um, these are still quite, you know, champions that are able to play relatively well, you know, under turret. Obviously, you know, um, at the moment, Freelancer, as we can see, is doing having a really, really oh, rough time. But again, bot lane, they're looking for Jeff yeah, again, it's... going forward, trying to pull him in. They're not going to. Tokyo Tree's getting exhausted. He's going to use his Kudo to get around, getting right back to Jeff God. Jeff God trying to run away. The flash forward. Tokyo Tree picks him up. And now Brian trying to make something out of this, trying to escape. But Tokyo Tree just healing up, waiting to get for the moment to go back in. They're running for it. I don't think they're going to dive this time again. I think they're starting to learn their lesson. Maybe we should overdive, but you know, I it, it's not what they meant, but in my mind, I think that was actually really smart for Idris to die to the uh, Senna because now he's reset her gold value, so she's getting full gold from killing her. Again. Yeah, fair play, absolutely. As we can see, Idris, uh, just as the previous game, I, I, I do, he's just been everywhere on the map at the moment. His kill participation, he's gotten 100% killed participation on his team, he has been making plays happen all across the map and utility has been really struggling to match him he has been farming up a storm as you can see we have a 40 cs lead for him but uh this lethality kazix is not going to have quite the same impact necessarily if this poppy you know the cyrelia they're not going to go down immediately to him and i think he is hoping that you know as his lanes are doing so tough he is going to be able to try to make some picks happen later on in the game let us not let us not uh, run away with ourselves and, rem and remind ourselves that we do have a very strong scaling comp on the side of Yubi. And whilst H Block have been making chaos all around the map, they have struck they have managed to get themselves some plates. They have got themselves a Drake, but they haven't managed to take any turrets down yet at 13 minutes. And Jeff God, um, he is still scaling, slowly but surely. And uh, when we get to these later game fights, you know, in the lane, in the laning oh. phase. Teleport coming out top side. It's looking like it's gonna be Civilock trying to grab onto Spears, but he's gonna back out right there. Yeah. So I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? You know, the H Block, they have gotten loads of early advantages, but this time around, still, you can see the number of plates that Jida has been able to pick up already. The gold, very much in their favor. Still a 2k gold lead, but they are struggling to, to make too many, um, to build themselves too many advantages around the map because, yes, while Sisdris has been everywhere around the map, it has been a little bit scattered with where they've been putting their resources. But as we can see, this mid lane tower, it is starting to crumble. And if that does get broken open, then. Once this, you know, once the map gets opened up a bit, they can start putting pressure oh, on side lanes as Tokyo, Tokyo Trees. Tree's pick, picking up one on the bot lane. Oh, but Brian's going to pick him up right as we go into that replay. Let's see what happened here. Tokyo Tree and Lupul. Oh, okay. Yeah, beautiful. so we're going to see a double stun. God, and Jeff, he's just not having a good time, is he? I mean, I think, yeah, Brian is able to pick up Tokyo, but they'll, they'll just be happy with that because... God almighty. <laughs> Yeah, He's trying. Just, no fear. The joust is just so much. Lancing is just such a painful thing. I mean, any any as any history major knows, and having studied King Henry, it's not it's not fun. Not fun to get lanced. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, this is what we haven't actually talked about this, but of course, she is able with her Q to um to uh, mitigate the the shield that Set gets from his Haymaker. This is one thing I found out the first time I played against Rail with Set that it can be very frustrating because that mitigates a lot of his sustain in fights. So something that Brian Sang is going to have to watch out for. Now Utility is finally going to go on the prowl. Oh, Spears getting engaged on. Utility is yeah, going to yeah. pick him up. The engage right there. Easy, easy kill for Yubi, and they're starting to claw their way back into this right now, but Lupul looking for something. They're going in on to oh Brian. They're going to get the stun. They get one. They get maybe two. I don't think they're going to finish that up. They're looking for it. They do oh, stun up stun Brian. Again. They got to run away, though. The shield coming through. It's going to let him live. And, you know, that's that, that's really good for the side of Yubi. Something, you know, I wanted to point out this entire time, it has been lessened a bit, is the mid and top lane for Yubi are just so far behind in CS. Top lane, it's down about 30 CS. Mid lane, it's only about 11, so it's gone up a bit. It was down 30 a couple, about a, two or three minutes ago. But 
Well, they're just getting shoved in, and, you know, first turret gone for the side of HBK. They have picked that up from the Heimerdinger. I mean, it's what you expect. Heimer has permanent push. There's no way to really stop that. Um, and, ooh, Freelancer yeah. having to flash yeah. there. Yeah, it's the Predator Poppy online there. Idris is such a menace around the map at the moment. Um, but nevertheless, yes, as you said, the mid lane has finally gone down now. And this is going to be interesting to see. We are going to see uh, just the Heimer continue to push here in the mid lane. So this is just going to make life continually difficult for Freelance. The lanes are still pushed in, but until h are basically just trying to win the roar of attrition here they're saying look we have constant push on towers eventually these towers are going to crumble and once they do we're going to have full reign of the map but at the time for the time being yes the cs is very is a big cs differential for spears up in the top side oh, i don't think um, they saw idris idris going in the entire team going in right now they're going to knock up brian brian's going to go down the ult coming oh, in from jeff got trying to wait but cheetah is here as well do they continue this push? No, well, they are going to, but I think they're just going to go for the turret. Oh, wow. Andrew's getting chased away. Whew, good plays coming out of HBK. They're continuing their aggression. Utility Monster hasn't been spotted here yet, so he could make something happen. Spear's got to run back. He's got to be careful for a return gank from this Kha'Zix. Utility Monster is here. He does have Flash. Oh, comes the ult. Spear's going down. He's just going to get nuked out of that one. Civilock and Utility Monster trying to make something happen here. Trying to at least find some advantage for Yubi on the map. But another turret going down on the bottom side. And Dragon up in 16 seconds. I think this is going to go to HPK. I do not think that UB is going to be able to contest, and they're not. They're going over to the Herald. They're going they're to try to pick that up. Yeah, they're going to cross map there, absolutely. And Civilock, he has been given some rain now to side lane up here. He has managed to get himself a, um, a Titanic Hydra, so very fast wave clear, of course. But uh, Jida is going to be able to match him now. Uh, that is going to be the Herald picked up for uh, for UB in response to this Drake, and that does mean that they are going to try to break open the turrets of their own. They haven't managed to get a turret yet, uh, the mid lane, uh, excuse me. They haven't managed to get a turret yet on the map as of yet because just the pressure that HPK have managed to put on them is relentless. But nevertheless, there is a mountain soul win condition now on the cards for HPK. Uh, so far, they have just continued to scrap as best they can, try to continue to pick off Jeff God. He is having a rough time. He's got the Sundra now. It is a Divine Sundra build. And the Kale, she's got a, um, a Nash's Tooth. So... That we just have to keep tabs on these um these late game win con champions for UB because yes they've been targeted heavily they've not been shut down though it would be nice to see actually the number of souls that Senna has been stacking as of yet just because uh, that is something that again UB can kind of wait on as best they can and Utility still playing damage control up here he's the one who's managed to pick up the kills for his team and he is still a threat that they have to be careful of. Yeah, Civil Lock coming back up. Jita doesn't even need to back up. Like, it's hard to die of a Heimer just because of all his turrets. And if he ult turrets, it's pretty brutal. Tokyo Tree is dueling onto Brian, getting him very low right there. Ooh, oh absorbing God. so much that damage right there. Brian is going to dunk. Is he going to dunk no. him? Is he going to finish? He does oh. not. Tokyo Tree flashes in and takes the kill for himself. Gets the flash out of Brian and the Ignite and the ultimate. Cheetah and Civilock right here. Lupul taking a turret. Goes in, engages right on to Freelancer. Freelancer getting one ult, getting two to try to save his life. And he is going to get out. But that's so many of those key ultimates that keep their team alive. And now HBK, they're looking for this top side, looking for Civilock. Utility Monster looking for Tokyo Tree. He's going to stun him up. Done. Civilock getting low on this top side. Tokyo Tree trying to run away, trying to engage. But he's in a 2v1 right now. He's yeah. going to get shut down. And Civilock goes down on the top side too. Trade after trade from both these teams. I think it's going to be a third turret for HBK though. It is going to be a third turret for HBK. And in response, oh, Sp Spears is going to try to stop this, actually. Um, UB is saying, look, we're going to, we're, we're just going to try to avoid it. Basically, the whole of, it's all about these junglers, isn't it? They're just, they're, they're trying, we have seen them almost never. And I mean, Utility Monster doesn't want to be anywhere near to um, Idris right now because that completely shuts down his engage. So he's making picks where he can on the map. He's still pretty strong. On the flip side, though, uh, yes, these carries on the side of H Block are getting bigger and bigger now. Um, Tokyo Tree is almost onto his um, uh, shield bow, excuse me. Spears has got his Gale Force online. That's a two item Heimerdinger as well with. Um, with um, Zonny's Hourglass, excuse me, that's going to make him almost impossible for Utility Monster to one-shot. So it is looking really nice for H-Block right now. They've got to push there on the top side. Baron oh, has now been spawned. Hold on. 
No, he doesn't win that. Group. Oh, he catches them. He catches him right there. But Civilock is here to defend his carry. Idris is on the hunt, though. Is the Poppy going to find it? The Poppy does the dash, but not going to find the wall. And they're going to back out of that one. That was looking very dangerous right there for Utility Monster for a moment. Thank God for Civilock. Absolutely. And Yubi, they are holding on. They're holding on. I mean, the goal lead is not massive at the moment, but HBK, they are, they're, they're doing their down, their darndest to, to, to run away with this game, or at least try to press their advantages still. Um, the Baron has spawned. You can see an awful lot of, um, well, these guys are running up to the top side. They're going to try to pick up utility now. That is a lot of damage. It is. And here comes Jita too. He's looking for something. Lupul charging forward now too. Utility is going to get out. He does burn the ultimate to do so. Lucian burns it too, but you know, it's going to prevent him from getting ult ganked again, that's for sure. As now, HBK, they're standing up around this Baron. I don't think they'll start it. I think they're just going to wait and try to get that next dragon, put themselves on soul point. A mountain soul with those shields will help deal, especially with that Kha'Zix, especially mm -hmm. with the punch from Brian and any damage from Civilok. And you know, it's going to make that Poppy just an absolute nightmare. Same with the Aurelia, just both of them with tanks, more tank stats and shields are just sounding like something I wouldn't want to deal with if I was them. Absolutely. And, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the UB, they are now electing to send Brian into a side lane. Brian, of course, he's actually got very good CS. He's almost rivaling um, some of these solo lanes or near enough. He's definitely got the same as Tokyo Tree. So he is able to match him in a side lane. And Freelancer, he's level 13 now. So he is still, I mean, he is he is quite far behind. But he's at the point where he is able to match Jeter's, match Jeter's clear. So... They're going to be able to mitigate that, but we are going to see oh. a great big cat in the mid lane. Yeah, uh, Idris trying to get something right there. Knocks them back on Civilock and Utility Monster. And they're just going to try to run away. Idris taking so much damage right there, though, from Jeff God. So you watch the slow mo we're catching back up to live. We're seeing everyone kind of dancing Ooh, the around TP. this dragon. Yeah, That's Freelancer. Comes, here comes Freelancer. Jita does have the TP. Idris is yeah, low. Here though. we go. He's Gotta heal up. Here comes Jeter right now. He is gonna teleport into the bunch oh, of people right there. Jeter right, getting low, going Ooh. golden. Lupul goes in, gets a massive ultimate. Jeter gets the flash out. The dunk coming in. Lupul is down. gonna go down. Tokyo Tree looking for something right here. He's gonna get Utility? knocked. He's gonna get shielded. He's looking for something. He's gonna go down too. Brian Utility? on the hunt. Jeter's going down. Idris gonna run too. This is a disaster for HBK as they lose three for nothing. And Freelancer just gonna pick up this dragon for free with Utility Monster. Un fortunate tele a very questionable teleport coming out of jeter right there just into the middle of the entirety of ub absolutely and if we go back a moment there in fact that is going to i mean let's just talk about the gold it's now swung it's gone fully back to even that's exactly the opening that ub needed and once we get to the team fights we see the amount of uh you know the amount of um value that this team has they have a lot of damage the kale does a lot of damage utility monster is five and zero at this point he wasn't before the fight but he's two items he's got a dust blade he pops anything that isn't the poppy at this at this moment really um yes jita does manage to buy some time with the stopwatch but as you said, a very questionable teleport. He's brought right next to Brian. Brian's pretty tanky. He's got Gore Drinker Sterax. You don't normally see that on a support, but he is basically, you know, a bruiser side laner in of himself. He's he's providing value for the team, and they managed to hold out long enough. Pro Lupal tries to bring something back, get into the back line, but at this point, he's too squishy compared to, to Brian. And just in that fight, Idris. I mean, it really stems from going back for a second whilst the um whilst the map uh, re resets. Um, they had a moment where they did catch them in a choke, and Idris altered them out of it. And I think actually that was a bit of a mistake because it allowed Yubi to get into position for that team fight. And now they're fully back in the game. Yes, they are. And there was a control ward there behind HBK, one of their own wards. So could have been a point of teleport. But now Idris and Tokyo Tree looking for Civilock. He is getting low. He is getting pretty tanky. They knock him up slightly. Civilock does manage to escape the poppy, although Idris looking for him, but Civilock's just going to walk away as the rest of UB rotates up. Utility monster on the hunt. Things are there's feeling a little bit of desperation coming out of HBK. They're feeling that gold lead slip away. They're feeling these carries coming online. The support set mm -hmm. going just full top lane style to make them have just that extra beef in the front. And you know, I have, I have HBK. Like, where, where are you looking for right oh, now? Lupul? Lupul almost getting Civilock there. Like I said, feeling kind of desperate out of HBK, trying to find something, trying to get claw that lead back. They're starting to see it slip further and further away. 
this this is I mean this Kale, she's almost level sixteen, level fourteen right now. I think she's getting close to fifteen. I'm not sure her exact experience, but it's it's they've she's caught back up. She surpassed her lane opponent in farm finally. Ergot, you know, he slipped further away. He's he's now down about eighty gold to the uh eighty CS to the Lucian. Is, but I mean yes. when, you're, when you're that tanky, does it does it really matter though? No, no, he's got two items. He's able to walk into fights. He's going to be a bit of a problem for these for this team to kill because the damage is a little bit split right here. Yes, we do. These characters, there is some pretty good oh, scaling. Hold on. Ryan flashing in. Jita getting caught yet again. Trying to run away. Gets dunked away. Jita trying to run. He's gold, yep. but he's going to go down. Brian picks him up, and Lupul's got to run away. Jita just not respecting the kill potential coming out of the set right now and yubi and now we are starting to see just how we're gonna see how much yubi can really push this baron is up right now they could go for it granted there is a jungler still up for the side of hbk and the ergot is bottom but you know it's when you don't have the heimer it's a lot of damage now from tokyo tree going in on the freelancer freelancer getting the ult down trying to get away Ooh, getting engaged tokyo's right back on gets the shield up coming out but Ooh. shut down coming out of tokyo trees in the 1v1 even the support from jeff god was not enough but utility monster Exhausted is here. Down now. They are looking for him. Utility monster is found. They're going right in out of Jeff God. Ooh, getting him Tokyo. low. Is he going to pick him? Tokyo wow. Tree picks up one kill. Is he going to get another? Oh, the beautifully ult? played. Oh my god, Tokyo Trees. How did you live that one? Idris on the hunt. He's looking for utility monster. He's going to try to push him. going to try to get the Q. going to try to get that yep. damage and a shutdown yep. from Idris. Insane. Actually... I've never, I mean, you don't normally see exhaust on Irelia, but God is it having value in this game. He's, he's getting away with all of these 1v1s, and that is a huge amount of gold that's just won back into H-Block's favor. And more than that, they're going to be able to get themselves power on the Baron. Utility's down. Yeah, there's nothing stopping it. We're seeing Civil Lock come up, Brian too, but there's nothing here for them. There is a teleport for Freelancer, but it's not gonna be able to even get there in time. No contest. HBK picks up the Baron. They've got that gold lead back. Spears just pushing away on this bottom side. He's not gonna be able to get any further. Brian is here to stop it, but Dragon up in 30. Baron on HBK. If Spears manages to get back and buy another item, he does have almost three full items now. Uh, he does have that armor pen to deal with any of the armor, especially coming out of um, the uh, Urgot with the ninja tabbies and even Senna. She's got ninja tabbies too. Looking to maybe burst a target. I don't I don't know if H if Yubi's going to contest it. They are looking like they are going to try to contest this dragon. They mm. have all their ultimates up, I think. Look at this vision though, man. Like The yes. vision in the, um, the, the top side jungle. Yes. Look at that choke point, man. Oh, oh. Pro Lupul going in. He picks up onto Jeff God, trying to run away, though. Brian looking for something. The teleport coming in from Civilock. He's got to get out of here. I don't know if Lupul's going to be able to run away. The, uh, the stun coming in from Tokyo. Right. Lupul's going down. The Iron Horse has fallen, and HBK gets a little too aggressive. They've got to back away. Their big front line engage is gone. Spears trying to get some poke there. Just barely misses. Just the tip of it. Just not hitting anybody. As now the vision's getting cleared up by Yubi. They're going to go for this dragon. I think it's basically guaranteed unless Idris can get over that wall or maybe knock them all away and with, a, with a flash over. But look at Tokyo Tree pushing in the mid lane, forcing yeah, Freelancer away. Yeah, turret going down. Tokyo Tree going in. They get the dragon. Brian oh, getting beautiful. stopped right there. Beautiful take right there. But Freelancer is so low. The ult coming through. Tokyo Tree getting so low as well. He's trying to run away. He gets the shield down. I don't think he's going to be able to chase Freelancer. Freelancer trying to consider it. But here comes you the monster oh the ult oh, from Civilock missing right there yeah. looking for it but it's not yeah, gonna be anyway. enough a shot down coming out of Civilock too much aggression from Tokyo Tree should have probably should have backed up but he saw the opponents coming thought they were closer than they were and just unfortunately paced with his life that lead that HPK got and it's already thrown back to even you know what HP, What I would have loved to have seen from HBlock there was to all be line down mid lane they all had Baron they could have put in so much pressure onto that mid-tier turret but just tokyo tree alone yes he's strong he's got to he's got three items now but he's equal with freelancer on levels freelancer's got the ultimate and he's able to hold out under turret which means that overall yes they get very little out of that baron play it is going to be a soul going over and another turret on the side of yubi they have all of the tempo on the map at the moment whilst tokyo trees down and the scale's level 16 by the way they're yeah, really she... like they Fights are going to get harder and harder for them, man.
Yeah, it's hit 16. She has the Rift Maker. All it's going to take at this point is getting that Rabadons. And, that, and Freelance was probably going to be allowed to duel Tokyo at that point, unless he has Exhaust up. And you know, if he hadn't walked away, I think Tokyo would have gotten it, but just unfortunately unable to get there. And this this Kale, she's hit that hyperscale point. This is the thing we were worrying about, Lolo. This is the point when Kale starts to become yes, unstoppable. Uh. Oh, this is... This is not looking good. This is such a close game, though, from both these teams, just back and forth. And right now, you know, there's no objective on the map outside of turrets. So Yubi, you know, they're probably going to look for a pick. Baron up in 240. They're just going to back off. Just get that farm going. Keep the scaling going. Keep hitting that item breakpoint. Third item in for Spears. want to point out, he does have the Essence Reaver, but it's, you know, it's, he's got to go be able down, to find something. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to be able to find some sort of catch. Maybe catch out Freelancer. Maybe catch out Jeff God. I don't think Jeff God will leave Brian's side at this point, considering how much even with him he's been beaten down. But you know, this is it's starting to feel like oh. like things are getting a little dire. It's just like last game. The timer is ticking for HBK, and it's starting to get to the point where they're not going to be where it's up for them. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Spears, he's going to have to go and try to match that that clear that now, of course, Freelancer, he can clear like a demon on this scale. So now priority has gone back to uh, on the top side just for a moment to UB. They are going to reset. They're all going to beeline towards uh, the Baron pit or just go down mid lane, get themselves mid lane pro, hope, potentially get themselves some vision. The Baron is going to be spawning in about two minutes time. So we are going to see a pause coming through. And just to, I think... I think we should recap just for a second here, Raps, whilst we have this pause online as to what really happened here. And I think one of the main things uh, to point out is that whilst H-Block were getting lots of advantages in their lanes, no one, none of, no one on the side of Yubi was getting absolutely taken out of the game, right? And that's the um, that's the real problem that I think I was waiting for here is that the Senna, she still does damage. She's still big. This Kale is now monstrous. The, the set is big. The Urgot is big. Like, uh, H Block have played to that have played that early game scrappy style, but Yubi have just weathered it, and now um, they've got a soul point online. They've got Baron control, and I think it really is going to be down to H Block. They they do still have the opportunity to make things happen in fights. It's just they have to be able to pick out. Um, they have to be able to spot Utility Monster, who's been working his way around Vision. They're going to have to take out this Kale. It's going to be so much harder for them to team fight. Yes, they have great item breakpoints now. They have the Poppy. The Poppy Ultimate is going to be key in this because it might be able to isolate members. But nevertheless, I do worry a little bit for them because now the map is now fully in, in Yubi's control. You ever been so afraid of a 0-2 champion before as people as we are right now and HBK is about freelancer. He hasn't picked up oh a kill goodness. for himself yet this game, but like it's it's just at that point, like you said, like they have to be able to pick him off. Maybe they Idris can catch Brian and and Civilock or Utility Monster when they go in, knock them really far back, and they can pick up some kills mm -hmm. that way. But it's it, you know those are that's a very specific condition, some very specific scenarios. And if we've seen anything in League of Legends, especially in this season of of uh, Luna and FOF, it's that specific scenarios are things that tend to very easily go wrong and are very difficult to pull off. So you know it's 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 up to hbk to try to make this work to try to find those narrow windows baron coming up in 20 seconds 47 on that mountain dragon remember this is soul point right now for yubi so hbk is going to have to contest this if they don't want to give up those shields which there's already enough shields on the side of yubi as it is dealing with more would be a little bit disastrous they are going to start up this baron right now UB is smelling this. They do drop the vision ward to maybe grab a hold of it. They are kind of baiting it right now, looking for something. Idris, though, gets spotted out by Utility. He has upgraded the W, something I don't see as much on, on Kha'Zix. Utility's got... You, Freelancer, excuse me, he has TP advantage, by the way. So, yeah. yes, he is matching Tokyo Tree in a side lane, but Tokyo's got exhaust, yeah. so they have to be very careful. Yeah, and he is getting low, and actually he goes oh down. Oh, my God! Down. Tokyo Tree picks it up right there. Jeff God used his ult too, and it wasn't enough. Tokyo oh, Tree. Yeah, let's see that turn. again. Yeah, let's watch what happened right here. The ult 
Oh, the flash out from Tokyo, the shield coming in, and he just waits for it to go down immediately Good going in. Lord. He's got so much healing coming through right now. And with that, you know, that's that's gonna put Yubi on the back They're gonna have to push on this turret from HBK. Yubi, they're gonna have to run for this dragon, hope they can pick it up. But Tokyo Tree just gonna keep pushing. He can turn around once he's fully healed, and he's getting healed up pretty quick. The dragon is gonna go down. That is soul over for the side of Yubi, Brian getting pushed out by Idris. Now they're collapsing on Tokyo Tree. He's just going to go for this turret. He's not going to have really any escape path unless he can meet up with his team. But he is getting cut off. They're on the hunt right now. He's actually going for a flank onto Jeff God and Brian. Pro Lupal here. Civilock actually pushed My into the goodness. Baron Pit. We see there's two fights going on right now. Lupal holding on to two. Bro actually make that three. Tokyo Tree now here. Civilock getting pushed out of the pit. Pro Lupal is going to go down. They're going to try to chase down Tokyo Tree. The Baron is getting low though. Tokyo looking for something. He's going to probably Civilock? fall right now the ult coming out of brian they do pick up the baron it's gonna cost them two but hbk looking civil lock getting so low or he's actually just you know half health with the shield but that's a that's that's we were talking about the power of that exhausted i don't think he actually even burned it in that fight no he didn't no i i just want to point out here i'm not sure what Civilock was doing sitting there on the baron pit because i don't know what the ergot was planning to do to steal it but nevertheless they pick up two kills and this does mean that with a baron power play even so um freelancers back on the map he's got tp he's able to split push so ub still have the advantage here they're able to dive yeah, I think they're looking for something. Utility Monster tanking up a lot, though. Idris buying some time. Freelancer has teleported in, looking for one. Utility Monster goes down. The ult coming out of the Senna. But here comes Pro Lupal. He is back into this. He's looking we'll to go, and he goes in. He gets shot. the hit. He's going to get Brian. Brian getting the shield. Brian is going to go down. A shutdown for Spears. You're going to have to back off the ult, though. Pro Lupal, it is time to eat some metal horse meat right now. As... Civilock picks off Lupal with the snipe from the ultimate, but UB isn't able to go. HPK holds the line at their turret. UB getting a little too aggressive right there. And but both of these teams are really just butting their heads against each other at this point. But overall, um, the, the soul was in that interim picked up. We'll see how much of this Baron uh, that HPK can still get back in their favor because the bot lane, they are going to have to do something about this bot lane that Freelancer is back on the map and he is trying to split push yet again. He did burn his TP though to try to hold on and stop a turn from the members of uh, HPK in the mid lane. So uh, the map is basically going to reset. Elder is now up in four minutes time. The Baron also in four minutes. All of these sides are going to need to be answered, but it's getting to the point where most of these players are starting to, to move towards four items, five items, and we're going to have to see just another fight and how these players are able to navigate around it because uh, at the moment, uh, besides picking, I mean, this Aurelia is now a menace and she's got a GA online, so she's going to be even harder to 1v1. So she's going to be able to continue side laning. And on the other side, it looks like Yubi are going to have to continue grouped up because they know that they can win fights if they stay grouped, but they're going to have to do something eventually about this Irelia. Yeah, and I, I, I question the Warden's Mail coming out of the earlier. I think, you know, going towards a Spirit Visage just to make sure you can completely shut down Freelancer in the 1v1, mm -hmm. reducing that AP damage, being able to get even more healing out of yeah. yourself. I think that would have been the smarter play here, but I guess he's more worried, less worried about this this Kale, I mean, he's, he's showing even like diving under turret. It takes two whole ultimates and a bunch of turret shots just to even get it close for Freelancer. So this Aurelia, we said it was going to be a monster. It is getting to that point. It's getting to full build. Yeah. build. And, you know, they've got Baron. I don't think they're going to get much out of it. They are starting to see HBK group up, though. They're looking for something. Brian looking to go in right here onto Idris. Lupul on the side, though. He is picking off a ward. Yubi's got to be careful. If they group too much and you go, Brewer Lupal gets a big ultimate, you could see a lot of pain coming their way. There is a lot of burst and a lot of just continual CC and damage able to be put out by HBK. You know, Heimer, he can drop a missile, he can drop the massive turret, or he can even drop that bouncing stun. So it's very easy to set things up. Still, though, Yubi, like you said, Grouping up massive team fighters. Two minutes also, by the way, up on the Elder. Two and a half on the Baron. I think Elder will be the deciding fight this game. HBK, mm -hmm. are they going to get yeah. another dragon for themselves? Their first, it would be their first in three or four dragons at this point. Or are they just going to let it go? Because if they if Elder goes down, I don't know if they can win a fight. I mean, with how low Tokyo Tree gets in that duel with Freelancer, that, that that's too low to deal with an Elder. That's too low to deal with anything like that. He is pushing the top side, though, trying to draw pressure up here. His team has to be careful. Utility Monster on the flank looking for something in the mid lane. But three members of Yubi are here. I'm actually going to make that four with Utility Monster. Spears 
is he's gone, you know, he's dragging Sivilok to the top side. Sivilok does have TP advantage, but you know, Spears just has to back and go get prepared. I'm not sure if he's close. He might be on his last item. Lupul is up here too. They might be looking to pick off Sivilok. Yes. Yeah, I think they are. They might try to dive him actually. Yeah, Tokyo, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's gone so, done so he well for himself. Is. He gets he stunned yeah. right now. Ooh, but Lupul a little slow. Tokyo Tree not able to follow up on that, but now they know there's three here. Spears and Idris and Jita got to be careful. Utility Monster on the flank. He's looking for something right here. He's looking to get some picks. He's looking to set this up for Spears. Vision Spears. Spears. Spears, oh, putting it way too close right now. He's got to run. Utility Monster is on the side, but he backed off enough. He isn't going to pick off Spears. Spears running though towards that, but he really wants to this die. This so Kazakh. scary. Gita! Gita running too. Oh, it's going in the it. flash out of Brian. They're looking for him, but Idris is here. Spears is too pro. Lupul oh, coming Freelance in. Oh, Freelance is out. Oh, Freelancer has to flash to get away. He's trying to duel on the Lupul. Lupul is so damn tanky though at this point. The support. Oh, he's got Enthenma's chains to deal with Freelancer to kind of reduce that damage. Smart out of him. Very good. Very, you know, item we don't really see a lot of teams build nowadays. But the Dragon up in 17. Spears has to back so he can get down here with his team. He doesn't have teleport. It's either that or he's going to try to maybe, you know, think he can just stun out Civilock. Three members, though, here actually make that all four of it. Freelancer going in, looking for Jita going trade, in. Yeah. Idris going in. Pro Lupul looking for something right here. They're trying to duel. The turret is down. The big boy turret. Freelancer picks off Pro Lupul, though. Idris, Jita, and Spears. They're all that's yeah. left right here. Idris on the run. He's trying to get away. Meanwhile, on the top side, Spears dueling out with Stivalok, not even getting much out of it. They're just kind of lightly smacking each other. But that's the call for the Elder right now. HBK is going to give it up? And this is the problem. They're going to try to put as much pressure onto Civilock as possible now in the top side because that's the last hope they've got left. The Elder's about to go down. Civilock, he's been holding that turret the entire time against the, against the Cyrelia from Tokyo Tree. And they are eventually going to get it. But it's only a tier two at this late in the game. That really is starting to mean less and less. And now the Elder is online. They can't take a fight. Civilock is able to walk back up because he's gotten oh. to the point where he's actually, yeah. I think that's the call for Baron from Yubi. They're going to look to start this up. Baron and Elder. I've only ever seen once that not end in a victory, and that was a game where the enemy team threw themselves in the turret. I don't think Tokyo's Yubi's going to have do one that. more go. Dude, Tokyo looking for something right here. Oh, he's getting engaged on right away, though. Utility Monster going to get him going right in, getting blasted by the Elder. Idris going to knock Idris, out nice. the Senna, not who he's looking for. Trying to find more. Going to go down. Idris gets a shutdown, actually. They grab one. They're looking for another. It's going to be the new fight. The Tokyo Elder. Oh, no. Another Idris going down. They're looking for something. Brian going to get taken out. The Kha'Zix going to get taken out. It's just Jita against Jeff God. Spears here on his own looking for something, but he's going to get ulted and oh down my goes God. the Senna and HBK manages to hold on and stop the Elder, stop the Baron, but now it is Sivlock looking to push this down. It's going to be 30 seconds or till someone respawns. Sivlock might just try to end this right here. I'm not sure if he can. There are minions. There are a lot of turrets. Maybe he just goes for a uh you know get a lot get, man yeah he can get a lot he can get that inhibitor but you know, I, I actually i'm shocked that with elder even with this full damage late scaling comp it was that close in favor i mean for ub hbk almost took that yeah they did actually that was insane and after i mean tokyo tree that ga providing so much value it bought his team enough time to get back into the fight and yes they do still have insane amounts of damage on the board and that does mean that the baron eventually did not go down the baron is still the next point of play for these teams everyone is back on the map they're gonna have to go at it again but crucial to note ga not up yet again for tokyo tree no elder now for the side of yubi so it's gonna be a fair fight but everyone's here this time and UB still do have soul, but it but um H blocker first to the Baron. Oh, they're uh, starting it up right now, trying to do this dance. Spears is getting in here. Like you said, there is none. There's still the Elder up on Civilock. They're trying to do that. Spears drops the ultimate, trying to buy some space. It is getting low. They're looking for something right here. The engage goes in. Idris does pick up the Baron, but what is it gonna cost? Everyone fighting out. Civilock getting kind of low. Down goes Tokyo Tree. Everyone actually super low right now on the side of HBK. They're oh trying to run away. Utility Monster looking for something. They pick up a double kill for the first Civilock on oh, gets to isolated. this uh, Honda Pro Lupul. Now Idris going down too. Brian picking it up. It's 2v5. I think it's I'm going to be the game right here. 
HBK, they tried so hard. They had such a good early game. But Yubi gonna march it down. Spears getting so low. Jita getting run down. He's gonna go golden. He picks up Freelancer at least. Jeff oh got getting goodness. low. Brian also getting low. They're gonna have to back off. They don't have the minions. They don't have the ability to end, but there is a wave coming. It is the supers. It's gonna be 20 seconds till anyone else up. Jita's still not full health right now. Trying to get away. Trying to buy some space. Brian getting low. The punch good coming Lord. through. Spears gets one. He's gonna take out Brian right now. And on the run they go. Brigida gonna go down. Ooh, Spears getting low too. He's been picked off by Jeff God. He's gotta oh. run. He's oh gonna get low. Goodness. He's gonna get taken out. And that's Joker's gonna be up the in a second. Day. He is up in five. I don't know if it's gonna be time though. They're on the inhibitor. Pro Lupal trying to buy the time. It's not gonna be not enough. Quite. And Yubi manages to take game two. What? What did I just watch, Raps? That was so close that was absolutely down to the wire these guys it's only game two man that was a, that's a, that was a 45 minute game which felt about as climactic as any game could be but it swung back and forth so constantly because neither team could really get an edge and lord hbk fighting to the absolute end you know they took the elder fight they almost won it the amount of damage by the way we didn't talk about it much but jita was doing insane amounts of dps as we can see in these fights not to mention tokyo tree silating with this adc irelia with the exhaust i mean i think she might have wanted the tp but nevertheless she was winning 1v1s against a level 16 kale this guy was going crazy with that champion and overall um yubi they played it out and this is what i think they were waiting for they hit that late game scaling where they were able just to win out fights as best they could and eventually they got the soul they got the elder they held on and hbk it was like an unstoppable force meets an immovable object but eventually it is going to be 2-0 to yubi indeed it is i hot take for me i think that has been out of both leagues the most exciting game i have seen all season what uh back and forth what intensity both these teams showing here in this grand final hbk not they don't want to go silently into the night they want to take this they want to get that they can smell that they can compete with ub they can get a fight but you know after a loss like that Will they be able to bounce back? Will they have the mental to come back and get a start the path towards the reverse sweep to try and take this series? I really hope so, because let, let's be honest. Um, we have to remind ourselves this is a best of five. And um, the way these teams are playing, it's expending an awful lot of energy. You can tell there are mistakes on both sides. Lots of them already. This is very tiring League of Legends. It is incredibly down to the wire um back and forth stuff and they have to make sure that they are able to hold on for another what could potentially three more games so can you be closer out in one more i'm sure they certainly like to but if hbk keep playing this way uh then eventually it could start to favor them as um they manage to get the better of ub in more and more exchanges yeah and we're going to have to see what they can pull out of their hats, what they're going to dig deep for in this next game. It could be the last of the series. This could be a 3-0 from UB. We'll find out when we come back for the la next game, hopefully not the last, in our grand final for the Lunar League. Don't go anywhere. I think uh, Idris is a really good player. I think he is the strongest part of Team H-Block. I do think that he is a little bit inflexible in his playstyle at times, and I think I can take advantage of that and come out on top in my role matchup and uh, help UB2 to, to a win.